Okay, now working on the master cylinder for the brake and clutch. There's uh, some captive nuts back here and corresponding bolts underneath here. Oh, too dark. But I actually thought that these were also captive nuts with bolts, bolts through the backside and so hard to see up in there and awkward to get in there. But after I looked around long enough, it turns out I'm pretty sure these are nuts on studs. So it's a lot easier to take out than underneath the car. But I had to take out the levers here. The rubber seals were disintegrated, fractured when I tried to take those off. And all the gunk came out, or, well, powdery gunk. And here are the plungers and how they came out. I think this is the correct install with a clevis pin. On this one, somebody jammed the bolt in, and you can see this is bent from that. And this is a retaining clip that was completely hidden in all the corrosion that holds the plunger in. Well, it finally came out. It's quite a mess. Plenty of acorns and stuff in there. Here's where it used to reside. And a little bit of mess as I took it out there. So I have to clean that up and put the new cylinders in. I'm trying to get this apart. I looked online and there's talk of putting the bolt in so this side maybe it's easier. So you put the bolt in here and then drive the cross shaft out, but that doesn't make sense because it can't go out. It'll hit on this side. In fact, I did tap it and that's what happens. But there's enough clearance there. I don't know if you can see it in the camera. There's enough clearance there for the pedals to go up. And it was really hard to tell where things separated, but I think I'm getting it. I think the pedals come out uh, as a unit there. So I'm working it. I've been getting WD-40 in there and tapping it back and forth. It took quite a while to get it loosened up, but now it's starting to come out finally. So I'm thinking the stuff I read online might have been for a different different pedal box. It's, it's definitely coming up now. And you can see that the pedals come up. There's a gap down here. It's You know, it's very hard to see on the camera, but let's see. There you can see where it's separating right in this region. It's just not been easy to get apart. The best way I found was to hold it like this on the edge of the table and then tap down on the bracket or even the pedal if you're careful and that's how i finally got it started but <clears throat> i did work wd-40 in a lot i would pry pry this out and get wd-40 running down here and then from this end and tap it this way back and forth and finally it loosened up this is really tedious, but I finally got these off. So it really helps to know what it looks like when you're trying to get it apart. So this thing almost should lift straight off. I think the only thing you have to be careful of is you don't hook in the hole here. You don't hook the shaft. But that's not really, wasn't really a problem. It was more just that it was really bound on there. And I think a lot of it has to do with it goes in this groove. That groove shows up on the camera, yeah. And so the other bracket, it's the same deal. And now it almost comes out, but it's kind of hung up on the welds here. But I think now I can take this cross shaft, shaft out, and then I should be able to get the pedals out. All right, here it is all disassembled. <clears throat> I actually had to, actually did have to pound this out. I don't know, they must have welded these studs in 
after the pedal was in place or they pounded it in because it just wouldn't clear. It hangs up right in this little, you can see where it's worn out. And then there's bushings in here that seem pretty good to me on mine anyway. And these two guys. So on the top, this goes on. This goes on here and there's pinches on the body. Yeah, there's two bolts for the cylinders with captive nuts. I wish I had a picture of this before I started. It would have made it easier to know how to get it apart. I even looked at the MOS diagram and it doesn't really tell you how it comes apart. And this is the big problem. That hole is supposed to be, be round and it's almost worn all the way through. And I'd, you can't buy pedals, I guess. I'm trying to see if I can find a used one, but probably going to have to try to weld that shut and drill it out. Somebody had put a, a wire in there as a kind of a hacky fix and a bolt, but I got to do something better than that. Wish me luck. I'm going to try to fill that with weld. I think it's going to be hard because it's so deep, but I'm going to give it a shot. Okay, I filled in the hole and center punched where I'm going to re-drill it. I should grind that a little bit more, but I think I'm going to drill the hole first. I'm going to call that repair a success. Okay, <clears throat> all the hardware is cleaned up. A quick, quick coat of paint. Barely cleaned the grease off so it won't stick real well, but just wanted something on there. Tapped and threaded all the captive nuts and studs that are under here. So I think it's going to look a lot better than it did. Put it together and I have to make two different lines. Here it is together. I didn't notice it when I took, apart, took it apart, but those uh, cylinders are actually angled. <clears throat> I thought it maybe is the reproduction, but if you look at the the line of the mounting holes, they are at a little bit of an angle, so the caps just barely clear one another. This guy went together pretty easily. I did grind this off a little bit up here where it was binding. There's no need for it to go in so hard. <clears throat> and then uh, it's a little bit of a trick I found. I put one side together completely. And then I was able to put the cross shaft in, move the pedal up here so this piece would snap it in, and then I could bolt it in place. So, ready to go back in the car. All back installed, new line for the clutch. <clears throat> I want to do a new brake line, but I don't have any 316th tubing, so I went with the old line for now.